Putin came in uh, as uh, first the acting president after being very briefly the prime minister of Russia in 1999. He had this meteoric rise, a very quick move into the upper echelons of power. At a time when there was a lot of soul searching in Russia about the restoration of the state, and that was really our starting point. He came in at the very end of a really tumultuous first decade of an independent Russia after the collapse of the Soviet Union in the 1990s, in which a lot of things happened. The country was just literally turned on its head and was trying to find a new path forward. And that was really our starting point. The first identity uh, that we um, basically gave Mr. Putin is the one of the statist. In Russian, it's the Gosudarstvenik. And that's, it's really all about the restoration of the state. And we explain in the book a very important fact for people looking at Russia from the outside. And you know, we should point out too that this is, book is not written for Russians. It's written for people trying to understand not just how Mr. Putin fits in to the Russia of today, but how the Russian system works so that we can hopefully craft better policy or at least a, a better understanding of how to deal with Russia. And the state in Russia is a very important element of this. It's a metaphysical entity. It's not the state as we think about in America where it's there for the nurturing of the individuals. The American dream is all about the individual and individual success. In Russia, the state is a thing in itself and it's the ultimate uh, entity. It's the be all and the end all of Russia. It's the state that has to be preserved. It's the state that has to be served. And Mr. Putin being a Gosudarstvenik in Russia, a statist, is someone who is appointed, even self-appointed, to serve the state, and that's all that they do. It's not about individualism. And that was the first identity uh, that we came up with. And Mr. Putin himself, in 1999, at the very uh, end of that year, at the very end of December, December 29th, before he then uh, becomes uh, the Russian president in 2000, talks about how he sees his mission, his role as restoring the greatness of the Russian state. Right. At that point, he had, as you said, he was prime minister uh, in 1999, and Boris Yeltsin resigned before the actual end of his constitutional term and handed over the presidency to Yeltsin as acting president. So. In the, at the end of 1999, as the new millennium starts, Putin knows that he's going to be president of Russia. And he issues uh, a message to the Russian population. It was actually issued online. So it was rather modern, I guess, for the time. And it's become known as this millennium message in which he outlined really his goals for Russia. I think what's really remarkable about that statement and the kind of thing that um, permeates our book is to try to show the consistency of this man's views and his stated intentions. We won't by any means say that you can trust everything he says, but I think to a remarkable degree, he says what he means and he fulfills what he says, at least in the important things. And if you go back today, which we do in the book, we go back to that document repeatedly, this one from, from late 1999, the new year to the new millennium, and show that what's happened since it's very consistent what he, with what he said he wanted to do.